What's up, everybody? It's Patrick. Uh, I decided I wanted to do more videos because I could, I could just, I could make my voice heard, and that's that's why I enjoy doing these. Uh, I want to talk about Sophie Lancaster. As a lot of you know, back in two thousand seven, uh. She was killed because of the way she looked, the way she dressed, and and, and the things she went into. Uh, I want to say that everything we do, everything we were, everything we say, and even everything we, we think, whether it's genuine or not, will always have some type of reaction from somebody else. Whatever we do is always subject to compliment, criticism, feeling, or some type of answers. Even when it's uh, said in a response that isn't justifiable or warranted. Again, to look at my own situations, when dealing with people who like to criticize people for the way they dress, the way they talk, the music they listen to. And the same the same way people come across as harsh. And while on YouTube one night, I came across a video, and this this I came across this back in two thousand nine, and I just never really decided to say anything about it. But it was titled R.I.P. Sophie Lancaster, and I saw the tribute video. And I thought about how creative, young, unique, vibrant, and how cool she was. And then I began to question how she, pa how she passed away and why she was no longer with us. I went to Google and I found a tragic news report that she was attacked along with her boyfriend at the time for dressing like a cyber goth. And her boyfriend had, had survived. And he he still he's still living, but uh, Sophie Lancaster ended up passing away. It's really it's really sad and tragic when you think about it because you know you never think for one instance that somebody would do something like that. And then there was another link that I came across from a page called Jesus Dot Is Dot Savior, and. At the time, I thought I thought that the page would offer some kind of comfort, but what it did is it condemned emos, it condemned punk punk rockers, it condemned hardcore, and anybody that was alternative, and talked about how they would face internal punishment in hell. And it re it really upset me because I mean. I wasn't a Christian at the time, but I was agnostic and I had questions that would have that would have actually uh opened doors to me when I look when I looked at that. And for a while I still I still struggled with trying to fig figure things out. And it didn't bring me any peace because I thought, well, if somebody does this to her, somebody does this to her boyfriend, somebody could do this to me or somebody could do it to my friends. And it's just really uncomforting. But, you know, I didn't know Sophie as a person, but I came across a tribute page and everybody talked about how she made them feel and and and, ev and everything and how, and who she was as a person and it brought me a whole lot of peace seeing, seeing that stuff and I think she even had a YouTube page and I visited the YouTube page once it had a video on it and she was just really vibrant really unique really beautiful and a very creative person and I and I enjoyed it and you know this world is sad. It's messed up and it's cruel. 
But I look forward to the day that that there there will be no more of this mess, no more uh, killing, no more violence, no more no more uh, death, no more sickness, none of this. You know, this this world is suffering, man, and I and I hate it. And I continue to, cause we we dealt we dealt with this many times before, man. I continue to pray for Sophie's family, her boyfriend, and anybody else that had to had to deal with that. And I just I just thank y'all so much for just allowing me to talk about this tonight. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Peace.